Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Nalin, the Bazooka Prophet, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to know whether a species in a redox reaction is to be reduced or is being oxidized or is a reducing agent or an oxidizing agent. Now, if you look at this at the question on the board, the question says from the redox reaction below. If the case is special that is undergoing reduction or division, that is undergoing uh, that is a reducing agent and also an oxidizing agent. Now, if you look at this redox reaction on the ball, you should understand this. Now, take note that to know whether a species is reduced or undergoing reduction or oxidation, it is being known from the reactant, not from the product. From the from the from the reactant. So please take note that before we go, we should understand that reduction simply means the gain of electrons, gain of electrons, or the decrease in oxidation number. Why, in the case of the oxidation is the opposite of reduction. Remember that in a reaction, in a chemical reaction, or in a redox reaction, it's a simultaneous process. As a species is undergoing reduction, another is undergoing what now? Oxidation. Now, an oxidation is the loss of what now? Of electron. And also an increase in oxidation number. It will move to what we call an oxidizing agent and also a reducing agent. Now look at it. An oxidizing agent is also called an oxidant. It simply means the gain of what now? The gain of electron. And when it is being gained, it is being reduced in the chemical what now? Reaction. So we can also say that an oxidizing agent is an electron acceptor. Please take note. Is an electron acceptance. Now, the opposite of what I've just said now for oxidizing agent is for reducing agent. So, therefore, in the case of reducing agent, it is the what now loss of electron and, is, and it is being oxidized in the reaction and it is an electron donor. And on that very note, we should understand that for any species to be oxidized, look at it, for any species to be oxidized. It will be called a reducing what now agent, and for any species to be reduced, it will be called an oxidizing what now agent. And this, on that very note, will take us to a climax. Now, look at the question. The first step we do is to assign oxidation number to the species that we're having yet. So it means for being here, it is assigned the oxidation number of what is alone to be what now zero. Why? In this case here, the copper here is plus two, which is copper two, tetra others of a six. Copper here is zero, and zinc here is plus two. So if I to assign to all of them, so here is plus six, here is minus two, here is plus six, and here is also what a minus two. Now, if you have that from zinc from zero to plus two, is what now? Is from zero, from zero to plus two, is oxidation. Now, for a species to be undergoing oxidation, means it is a reducing what now agent. So it means the oxidized species here, the oxidized species here, is zinc. While the reducing agent here is also now zinc. Now, in the case of Copper here. Now from copper 2 to 0 means a reduction in what now in oxidation number. So it means that copper 2 from copper 2 sulfate is the reduced, meaning here yeah, is this copper 2 which is reduced. What the oxidizing agent here is also what now copper 2, which is from here copper 2 sulfate. And the copper two what now suffering. And on that very note, this end our question bank for exam focus for those of you in outside the country and for those of you in the nearby country. For now, God bless you.